Now, let's do an example. And a computer engineer computer a computer engineering student attends an electric lab which has 20 props of which three are bad. So we have 20 props and three of them are, are bad. This student selects two props randomly what is the probability that both are So here we define two events, event A to be first choice is bad and B is second choice is bad. And the question asks, what is the probability of A intersected by B? Uh, what is the probability of A? Sorry? One over? One over twenty. Any other option? I guess. Do you have any other opinion? What is the probability that when we peak? One thing, it is bad. Sorry? Yes, so what is the probability of having them? One over three? Okay, what? Three over twenty. We have three bad out of 20. So the probability of picking one of them is 2 over 20.
Now, what is the probability that the second one is bad given the first one is also bad? Okay, uh, I have 20 elements, right? And these three are bad, so there are 20. I already have taken one because this was A. So, what is the probability of B, the second one, to be bad if already one of them, the first one, is bad? 2 over 19, because I have taken one out which means 19 left, but only because that one that I've taken is bad and two are bad, so the probability of uh, B given A is equal to uh, 2 over 19. Now, the question is that what is the probability of A intersected by B? In order to calculate what is the probability of A intersected by B, we have a formula. This is probability of B given A multiplied by probability of B, sorry, I mean probability of A, and this is 2 over 19 multiplied by 3 over 20 which means it is 3 over 190. So the probability that I pick up two and it is, both of them are bad, is 3 over 190. Let's try another example. A rich coin. coin which is biased, we use the word also bias, a bias coin is twice as likely to come up heads than tail. So we have a coin which is kind of biased. And if I toss it, the probability of having head is twice more than the probability of having tail. If we, if the coin is flipped, if the coin is flipped three times, what is the probability of getting three heads. Uh, part one. Part two. What is the probability of event A that two heads occur.
Okay. First, tell me what is the probability of head, what is the probability of tail? For this bias coin, what is the probability of head, what is the probability of tail? We know that probability of head is twice of the probability of tail. And uh, we know that the probability of head plus the probability of tail is equal to 1. So we understand that the probability of head is 2 over 3. And the probability of tail is 1 over 3. In first part, it said that what is the probability of head, head, head? Which is what is the probability of head intersected by head intersected by head? If the first one is head, will it affect on the second one to be head? Well, what will it affect on the third one to be head? No. So it means they are independent. So it means this is equal to the probability of head multiply by probability of head, multiply by probability of head, which is 2 over 3 by 2 over 2, multiply by 2, 2 over 3, multiply by 2 over 3, which is 8 over 27. Eight over 27. In the second part, In the second part, we want to see what is the probability of A, which is having two head. In other words, it's the probability of having head, head, tail, plus the probability of head, tail, head, plus the probability of tail, head, head. Right? Now, the first one is a head. Will it affect on the last one to be tail and the middle one to be head? No. So it's been that, it means that each of them is equal to probability of head, multiply by probability of head, multiply by probability of tail, plus probability of head, multiply by probability of tail, multiply by probability of head, because they are independent, plus probability of head, tail, multiply by probability of head, multiply by probability of head, which is 2 over 3, multiply by 2 over 3, multiply by 1 over 3, plus 2 over 3, multiply by 1 over 3, multiply by 2 over 3, plus 1 over 3, multiply by 2 over 3, plus, uh, multiply by 2 over 3, so it's 4 over 27, multiply by, by 3, and it is 12 divided by 27, which is 4 over 9. So although it's by us, although the probability of head is twice of the tail, but having three heads is 8 over uh, 27, so it's less than 1 over 3rd. Whereas almost by half we have the probability of having one to it. Now, if two events, if 
two events are mutually exclusive, it means it's the intersection is empty, right? So it's mutually exclusive. Which means that the probability of A intersected by B is equal to is equal to zero because the intersection is empty. The probability of empty is zero. If A and B are independent, we know that the probability of A intersected by B is equal to probability of A multiplied by probability of B. So we get that if A and B are not impossible, in other words, probability of A and probability of B are non-zero, then if A and B are not zero, is there any way that this multiplication is zero? No, it's not possible. In other words, if they are impossible and they are independent, they cannot be mutually exclusive. Then A and B cannot be mutually exclusive. In other words, I can write that uh, independency, independent, means that not mutually exclusive. In other words, if A and B are independent and they are not impossible, there is an intersection between A and B. There is an intersection of A and B. In other words, A intersected by B is not empty. Definitely, it's, it's something is in there. Why? Because otherwise, one of the A or B or both of them should be zero. Which means that A or B or both of them should be impossible, which is contradicting the condition that we put. So A and B independent and A and B are not impossible, then it means that definitely they are not mutually exclusive. So you do not need to think about it anymore. This rule that I have put here in red, or the above one, is called multiplicative rule. And we want to write a general form of that, and it is generalization of the multiplicative rule for two it is here. If in an event, if in an experiment, the events A1, A2, till AK can occur, then if these ones can occur, then probability of A1 intersected by A2 intersected by AK is the probability of A1 
multiply by probability of A2 given A1, multiply by probability of A3 given A1 intersected by A2, multiply by probability of AK given by A1 intersected by AK minus 1. And and if A1 and AK are independent, then probability of a1 intersected till AK is probability of A1 multiplied by probability of A2 multiplied by probability of AK, which means it is the multiplication of PAI I from 1 to K. Like the uh, example that we saw here, probability of Head, head, tail, they are independent, so it's multiplication of each of them. Do you have any question? If uh, you have no question, this is the end of the lecture. <laughs>